Joel Kim here from sunny San Diego, California. We have the Formula One blue team and everything but the kitchen sink. So we've got neural monitoring over in the corner. We've got navigation, the endoscopic tower, intraoperative imaging, and the FOSS, Luke, the FOSS. Because we have to do a really, really, really good job. This is a PGA professional and a golf legend. And let's face it, I don't think God intended us to play golf. And most golfers have a very bad back, including this one. Defined as a kakapoo poo back. He's had previous surgery. And if you look carefully, he's got incredible degenerative disc disease, but most importantly, right L4-5, L5-S1 neuroforaminal stenosis. Huge overgrown bone spurs on the lateral aspect of the facet joints, as well as bone spurs at the edge of the disc space. And compared to the levels above, that's the side opening called the neural foramen. Look at the L4 nerve root on the right and the L5 nerve root on the right. Typically this is treated with a fusion, but he's a professional golfer and we need to get him back quickly without altering his back biomechanics too much. We want to do a very careful, meticulous, minimal invasive decompression of the nerve roots. They're probably all stuck down from the epidural scar, so we have to do a neurolysis as well. And we want to do it all minimally invasively so that we do not disrupt the function of the back muscles. Not only do you not want to weaken them, but as a professional golfer, those back muscles need to be very coordinated. So you do not want to crush the muscle. You don't want to detach the muscle. You do not want to remove too much bone because that affects stability. And so using the laser endoscopic technique, we can make a little poke hole, come at it in a paraspinal fashion and avoid injuring the tendons to the important muscle called the multifidus. These are challenging cases because the nerve root is right there tucked in between all the bone spurs and the pedicle and the facet joint. And we need to keep them intact. I have a bunch of little tricks, including the use of the Wolverine. And we want to make sure that the nerve is intact too, because that's what we're treating. And you know, my mom always said, spine surgery would be a lot easier without blood vessels and nerves. Mallet, look away, stabbing you in the butt. Oh, good healthy bone. That's the little antenna that you put on the top of your golf cart for navigation. Perfect. Getting started. This is the part where I feel like I'm a cheater because look at this. You don't even have to be a spine surgeon to do spine surgery if you got 3D navigation. But don't tell my patients that. anesthetizing the surgical corridor before I make the incision because that's the gentle millennial way. Be nice, shot. Be sweet. Your back is crooked. Look at the angle of the C-arm, it's cra crazy. Just the way we like it. Spaghetti noodle dilator. Delicate Asian fingers. Pinky out, shot. Shot. Uh, get the guide wire. Okay, Brittany, I'm entering the neural foramen and loving it. Oh, yes. Injecting the dye into the disc, which is completely kakapupu, also. Thank you. Brittany's calling out the neural monitoring. I've got every piece of technological advancement I have in my tool bag. This is called the Wolverine. This is going to protect the exiting nerve root. Shot. Likey long time. Let me see the nav. Dilator. All right, so I've got the Wolverine in there. That's protecting the exiting nerve root. And it's hugging the that huge overhang of the facet joint. It's perfect. I'm going to just gently ream that out. Shot. I can't say anal sphincter on film. 
That will offend people. Can you turn that up, please? The sound? Turn it up? Yep, I want to hear it. It works better with the sound. <laughs> it's not about hearing it, it's about feeling it, baby. Well, this is why we use the blue dye, because it's pretty. My favorite too, Terry. And without it, everything looks like a nerve. And when I do surgery, everything is a nerve until proven otherwise. This pretty much tells me it's not a nerve. Look at that arch right there. That's the bony window that I created with my various reamers. And you can see how medial I am to that facet joint. And I can look up and down. Oh, I'm liking this long old time. Trigger Flex Probe by Eloquence. It used to be called the Elman Probe after Alan Elman, who designed this thing. Nice. Oh, look at all this kakapupu disc. It's rock hard and calcified, but look at that. It is a disc herniation. Oh, now I'm using this to push things down away from the dural tube. Oh, juicy piece. Thank you, monsieur. Ready, Harold? Okay, this is the sci-fi homium laser. This is one of many tools that I use, but this is the sexiest tool. It's firing sideways. That red light is just the red light that you see on your pen. It's just the pointer. The holmium laser is actually invisible, I think. Unless you're a dog or an eagle or something and have like special eyesight. But look how things just get vaporized and disappears like magic. And two, it is not electrical. It's mechanical. Isn't that wild? So it will not electrocute the nerve if it's right next to it and there are times when the nerve is so close that I can't use the trigger flex probe which is a, essentially a radio frequency electrical bipolar probe so people that don't have this they use mechanical instruments like the spinning drill or reamers or curettes and I'm sorry this is way sexier way more fun and I can stick my pinky out. Here's the nerve root right here. Oh! It's like porn. You don't want to look at it, but you can't help yourself. I'm using the tongue of this thing to sweep it out of the way, almost like a pimple popping maneuver. I wish you were monitoring my nerves. That would show you the degree of hyperactivity. Got the scope almost straight up and down now and I'm going laterally and then this is the middle of the corridor but look how lateral I am on the navigation, the left upper hand image. That tells me how far lateral I am plus a little bit. So I just have to get this toward me. Alrighty, I'm working toward me laterally now. This is the rubbery annulus that becomes the disc osteophyte complex part of the pathology and it is really rubbery and without the laser this would be so painful to take down. Annoying loose pieces just bothering me, torturing me like my teenage kids used to. That's the problem. Oh yes! There's the nerve. Ball tip feeler now. So I want to make sure that the exiting nerve root is free. The show enough is Oh yes, and it's surrounded by blood vessels and that's why my mama said spine surgery would be so much easier without blood vessels and nerves. But that's a good sign, even though it's annoying. Feeling good, look at all this inflammation. And think I'm done with this level and I'm feeling really, 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 really good. Did I mention that it was feeling really good? Oh yeah. Now for L5S1, hopefully it goes that well too. Shot. Four, five went beautifully, if I do say so myself. I really hope five, one goes the same shot. Entering the L5 neural foramen, Brittany, and loving it, shot. 
Yep, exactly. Surfing down the bow and shot with the Wolverine. Because, you know, professional golfers have custom sh grips, shafts, and lie angle for every one of their clubs. And so do professional spine surgeons. Shot. So I'm getting the lateral bone right here. I'm going to shave that off and get in there. Okay, there's the bony tunnel right there. The exiting nerve root is just right there. Oh, look away. Right there. Oh, scary and sexy all at the same time. Mm -hmm. The exiting nerve root is just to the right of me right there. Actually, that's the bone edge, but it's nerve root until proven otherwise. Using the tongue to keep it swept out of the way. Wow! There's some arthritis in here, boy. Shot. Right around the pedicle. That's Wagner's arch. Shot. Oh, yes. Ooh, it's tight. Shot there. Oh yes, that's going up to the nerve root, just like I suspected. That's the nerve root right there. Don't look at it directly, you'll turn into stone. Look how gentle I am. I'm just caressing it, lovingly. Kakapupu. See that? Last minute touches, that's the bony osteophyte of L5. The nerve root is on the right side of that metal wall. Shielded like a chastity belt. All right, I'm gonna look around now because I think I have done some excellent decompression, I hope. There it is. Look away, look away, look away, look away, look away. Oh, yes. And there's the lateral aspect of the facet joint. Okay, band-aid surgery at its best. Two, I did both surgeries through one incision, but one had to be more inside than the other, so a little bit longer than it need to be, but still adorable. That's for the navigation tracking pin. Look away. Woo! Surgery went beautifully, but it was not an easy one. But I'm fully expecting you to get a lot better kick some butt at your next tournament, and best wishes for a speedy recovery. Right, guys? Yeah.